I gotta give an introduction to what we're gonna talk about. Hi, I'm Dwayne Teagles and I'm the powertrain product marketing manager for Volvo Trucks. Behind me, you'll see the all new VNL and I wanted to talk with you about the new VNL. <laughs> Behind me, you'll see the all new VNR. I want to talk with you a little bit about the features that are driving vehicle efficiency and overall performance. Starting with the obvious aerodynamic improvements that you see here, the truck is designed to actually cut through the air, reducing overall parasitic loss and the required horsepower to push the truck down the road. Parasitic loss is anything that consumes horsepower that is necessarily pulling the load down the road, such as aerodynamics, friction inside the engine, friction in the transmission, friction in the differential, and also tires. When we can reduce parasitic loss, well, we improve overall efficiency, and that's where the VNR really shines. Underneath the hood, you'll see our D13, available in a 405, 425, and 455 horsepower engine. Inside the engine, we've also done improvements, starting with a new injector and a seven-wave piston designed to improve overall combustion efficiency. To reduce parasitic loss inside of the engine, we've reduced the piston height and lengthened the connecting rod. For further improvements, we've also added a variable displacement oil pump that changes its volume based on the overall vehicle's need. This reduced parasitic loss to another degree. And as we transition back to the iShift transmission, we've improved overall shifting performance by 30%, shortening the clutch throw and improving shifting algorithms. This, combined with the aerodynamics, the reduced parasitic loss inside of the engine, the faster shifting speed, allow us to drive faster ratios, downspeeding the powertrain, improving overall fuel efficiency and performance for your drivers and our customers. And that's the VNR powertrain options. RT testing is a reliability test. Here we're focused on RT cold, so we're really looking for the cold, harsh environments. The first thing we'll do is a 12 hour cold soak. We'll look at the weather forecast and if we see a temperature range that meets our test requirements for a cold soak, which is typically anything below zero Fahrenheit, we will keep the truck outside, shut the engine off. And we want to get everything in the truck down to as low as temperatures as possible. And then we do a cold start. We're testing to make sure that the engine's going to start. We want to make sure all the electronics in the truck are working. We want to make sure that the cab is comfortable for the driver. Whenever our drivers experience issues, we have a microphone that's attached to the seatbelt and they'll try to describe the issue the best they can. We ask a lot of subjective questions such as, is the HVAC blowing at a comfortable temperature? Can you roll up and down your windows when it's cold? Can you access your fuel cap when you've got 100 pounds of ice just surrounding the truck? I think it's really important to run our trucks in these conditions because at the end of the day, it's going to make the truck a lot more reliable. We work directly with engineering and we give them our feedback and we're always striving to drive the quality and the safety of these trucks.